हेलो नमस्ते ब्यूटीफुल सोल्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू लाइट हाउस टेरो थ्री सिक्स नाइन एंड डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस टाइम आई एम प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद द वीकली रीडिंग इन इंग्लिश फॉर द कमिंग वीक दैट इज फ्रॉम डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी एथ टू डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी बिफोर मूविंग इन टू द रीडिंग आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड सीजन्स ग्रीटिंग्स टू ईच एंड एवरी वन हु वॉच इज दिस चैनल I am really thankful to you. Wish you all Merry Christmas. And now let us move towards your reading. And as we always have two piles, this time also we are having two piles. I'll show you both the piles. This is pile number one. I'll show it. This is pile number one, right? You can have a look. And this is pile number two, right? I'll show you both the piles together so that you can decide, right? Pile one, pile two. Take a deep breath and decide which pile is attracting you more. Meanwhile, I am preparing for your reading. All right. So welcome, pile number one. All those people who have selected this angel, right? This is the reading for them. First of all, we will take some cards and then we will go into your reading. So, let us see how will be your week as a whole. Okay, self worth. How will be your finance in the coming week? So, we have got wisdom. How will be your love and relationship? We have got destiny. and what will you learn from the coming week and then we have got isolation all right let us very quickly take some more cards right for each of these and then towards the end we will be seeing what message the goddess wants to give you So we have got three of pentacles, ace of pentacles, two of pentacles, and ten of pentacles. My God! So it is all money, money, money. All right. Just a second. Let me get something to keep the cards over here so that you can see them. <coughs> Fine. So the first card that we have got is that of self worth, right? And along with that, we have got three of pentacles. so this teaches you that you know next week will be a week where you will be doing collaboration with people where in you will be learning you will be teaching in all aspects of life be it your work front or your home front or anywhere but collaboration will be the most important uh, you can say theme of the week for you right because with collaboration you will actually understand what is your self worth you will realize how people are attracted to you you will realize how uh, important you are right and at the same time you will upgrade yourself you will learn new things you will teach new things to people and you will understand the value of teamwork and that will be the focus of it uh, focus area for you in the coming week right the next question that we had was like what will be the finance related thing for you next week and in that we have got wisdom along with that we have got ace of pentacles right so this teaches you that you know the coming week is going to be a week wherein you have to act wisely as far as your finance matters are concerned uh, you will get lot of opportunities wherein you will be investing uh, for your future with uh, you can go for sip or like anything and at the same time it is advised to you that uh, there are certain matters probably you are not really aware of so before investing into those things it is better that you take some uh, guidance from people who are experienced right because if you take the decision all alone it may not be really always fruitful for you and otherwise also for you the theme of the week is collaboration so it is good that you go for any uh, financial investment or uh, you can say any new beginning as far as your financial matter is concerned you take some uh, guidance from people right and then at the same time 
whatever you start now is going to be like you know a long uh, run process which is going to bring fruits to you later on but you will have to take a regular care of that investment like you know if you plant a tree if you plant a seed right you have to water it and you have to see to it that it is getting proper sunlight and all those things similarly if you are investing in something right you have to see to it that you then do take proper care of that investment right so this is it then the next card that we have taken is what will be the energy in your love and love and relationship right so in that we have got destiny and with that we have got two of pentacles so this indicates over here that uh, as far as your love life is concerned because this entire week is more concerned about pentacles that is money right uh, you will be focusing more time on your financial matters and less on your relationship and love matters right so it is uh, actually it will definitely give you stress because then you will be overburdened so it is advised to you over here that uh, do not be uh, imbalanced person right bring balance in your life and give equal uh, time to all aspects and all duties of your life so this is what is very important for you and then only it will be stress free life for you remember that uh, your partner and your family also needs you and so do you also need them right so in and definitely you are working for your family and your loved ones but then uh, in order to make them happy do not make them unhappy you know unknowingly and you are giving stress to yourself if you do that so this is what you need to do you have to bring balance otherwise there will be imbalance in your love and relationship and then we have got the last card that is what is the lesson that you are going to learn from this week and in that we have got isolation along with ten of pentacles so this card actually tells us that definitely you are going to get success in your material aspect right and it is going to bring happiness to your family and your loved ones but then uh, this is what is very important right isolation so do not wait for right time now you know like right now you're working hard uh, day and night with people around you and you are busy investing your money in different places but then in doing so balance is missing in your life and you need to bring this balance because otherwise what you are thinking right now is that that uh, i will be uh, spending time with my family and my loved ones later on when the right time is there right now i am doing something else and that is more important you need to learn this that this success is definitely going to be there but what is more important is now start living in the present moment and at the same time do not isolate yourself from others do not wait for the right moment every moment is right right and every more right moment that you are missing actually you are missing your life your very important part of your life so this is what you really need to understand okay so now let us see what message do we have from goddess for you we'll take any one card only and we have got the card of goddess una right let us read the message what it is saying easy does it there is no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing right so very wonderful actually this card is giving you the entire perfect message of the week you know you will be working hard for your financial matter and financial stability but then in doing so do not hurry or do not force things to happen or stop right this is really very important you need to understand over here is that slow and steady progress is better right instead of uh, uh, making sudden moves for anything and at the same time uh, like ease is very important right this is what you need to understand and as goddess is saying you need not worry so be calm and do everything with ease right you need to do things which are important to very important to you and you need to do it with absolute devotion now see 
when i say important you must understand that finance and family everything is equally important job equally important right so this is what it is by number one uh, i hope you liked this reading we will meet again next time uh, and yes please do subscribe to my channel and like the video this really encourages me to bring regularly all the readings for you thank you so much so welcome pile number two all those people who have selected this beautiful angel let us go into your reading we will quickly take out some cards and then we'll go into the reading right so first of all let us see how will be your week as a whole we have got the card quest what will be the finance looking like in the coming week we have got forgiveness what will be energy of love and relationship renewal and what lesson will you learn from the experiences of this week and that is guilt okay now let us quickly take some more cards tarot cards as well right at the end of this reading i will be pulling out one card from goddess guidance and we will check what guidance does the goddess want give you right for the week okay so now let us see what cards do we get knight of swords the emperor seven of cups and eight of wands all right so by number two we have got to the cards right the first card that we have got is that of quest and along with that we have the card of knight of swords right so what you need to understand is that the coming week will be full of quest you will be running behind something right and you will be uh, so much determined uh, with like logic and clear mind you will be running towards something and you will be in search of something and that something is definitely success right so that success can be anything right you already have decided something uh, that success can be for some of you it can be in your love life and relationship for some of you it can be uh, in your uh, work area job front business right so you already have planned something and you will be working towards that and you will be working for the success that is what the theme of the whole week will be right so the whole week will be of this theme wherein you will be in search of something one thing is guided to you over here is that while you are running behind that success with determination with firm mind nothing can stop you definitely nothing can stop you and you will definitely reach to your destination but at the same time do not forget that journey within is also equally important so you are advised to meditate as and when there is some free time spend some me time and that would be helpful to you next card that we have is forgiveness and this was the card that we took with the question that what would be uh, finance looking like in the coming week and with that we have got the emperor so over here actually you know you have to be in this energy of emperor you are the emperor of yourself you can say uh, as far as your finance matters are concerned probably uh, in past somebody has cheated on you with financial matters like with money or at your workplace you are the boss and somebody somebody who is working under you has done something wrong or has tried to do something wrong with uh, the finance and everything of the company or you gave money to somebody and has it has not come back to you and all those things what you have to do is that you have to forgive all those people and you have to give them one chance because once you forgive them uh, uh, you actually move forward towards your spiritual growth as well and at the same time like uh, once you forgive them uh, you will automatically start moving towards financial growth
this is really very important for you at present um, you have to be a leader who is compassionate we can say and uh, the one who is very confident as well okay now the next card that we have is about your love and relationship and in that we have got the card of renewal along with the card of seven of cups so what you need to understand over here is that uh, pile number two that you I can see over here that the energy of your relationship is really scattered at present uh, for some of you you are having many options in front of you for others like uh, it is uh, somebody has withdrawn right what you need to do over here pile number two is that uh, you please pause stop and ask yourself that what does your heart want and of course you some of you are trying or thinking of moving ahead and are uh, thinking of having a new relationship but uh, it is advised as well over here that you know you need to renew the relationship so whatever stagnancy is there or whatever confusion is there sit together talk to the person right and then come to a conclusion um, this confusion cannot survive if there is clear communication at the same time what do you need to understand is have faith in this that uh, whatever has happened forget about it but what will happen is definitely going to be something really wonderful so give a chance to your relationship work on that and definitely you will get good results everything can be sorted out it can be renewed no problem in that the next card that we have is the lesson that you will, will be learning right or lesson to be learned at the end of this week in that we have got guilt along with the eight of wands so one thing that i told you over here that you need to communicate with uh, your partner right? uh, same thing is coming over here so this is what you will learn at the same time uh, you also will learn that you will not do things for others that they can do for themselves uh, one more thing over here is that you know uh, do not be in guilt if something wrong has happened in your life and if you carry a guilt in your heart it actually becomes a blockage and then it stops your progress so what you need to do is you need to overcome your guilt you have to understand uh, who is trying to manipulate you who is trying to play games with you you have to communicate with them clearly and then you have to come out of all these things and you have to be confident reclaim your life you can say this is what this card is saying uh, uh, some of you even may go on some uh, trip or tour or something of that sort right and they can learn something from that as well now let us see what message does the goddess want to give you right what message do we have for pile number two Athena we have got the card of goddess Athena inner wisdom you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay so, so wonderful the card is saying everything to you so this card actually tells you that you need to trust your uh, inner voice or you can say you need to trust your gut feeling at the same time uh, what you need to do is actually it is good that you give importance to others but at the same time you are equally important you have to understand this and whatever action has to be taken should be taken on time there should be no delay right this is what you need to learn from this week and at the same time uh, no matter what nobody should gain power over you so uh, yes you are the emperor and you have to be that emperor who is a, a calm composed person who knows what is good and what is not but at the same time he treats everyone well and he is in control of everything right so whatever confusions are there for that also you need to take action that you have to talk and bring renewal over there right that also you have to learn and with communication you have to move further and whatever guilt 
in case if you have any guilt you have to remove that because guilt is actually a byproduct of fear you can say so remove that fear and guilt will be removed you can say okay so this is all from me pile number two i hope you liked this reading i request you all to subscribe my channel if you are the one who has not subscribed till now and yes we will meet again till that time bye bye and take good care of yourselves and remember what goes around comes around thank you so much